Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you for being here. I hope you're all okay. So this is my colour palette and I've got a really long canvas. So I'm using some powder blues with some violets and purples. I've also got a magenta and some gold. And the intention today is to puddle pour some paints on my canvas. I'm going to also use a marble to create some lines. There's the marble, bit of fun with the marble. <laughs> and then I'm going to create a pattern on top and stretch it out. So my paints are mixed with three parts pouring medium to one part paint. So I'm using Otrol, which is the UK's version of Floetrol um, in my paints. So three parts of that to one part of the paint. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the full color palette and I'm gonna puddle pour onto the canvas. So I hope you enjoy this process. Let's have a bit of fun and let me know if you're gonna do this too because I'd love to see the creations you make. So don't forget to tag me in your posts. So let's see what we can create. I really want all of these colors to feature in this creation. So I always say when we're doing this type of creation, ensure the color that you have in your middle is the color that you want to take prominence and to really feature in your piece. Because anything you put near the edge or over the edge when you tilt is gonna be lost and you're gonna tilt those down the side. So when you're thinking about doing this type of piece, think of the color that you really want to be your center point and your focal point. I really like all of these colors. So I'm literally starting by adding a line of all those colors directly down the middle. I'm then gonna fill out my canvas a little bit more by puddling each side of those puddles that I've already put down the, mud, uh, down the middle because I really want to ensure that I've got enough volume of paint to allow me to stretch out the piece when we get to that part of the process. I'd really like some gold within this piece. So I'm adding a gold line directly down the middle and then I'm zigzagging back on myself. And that's actually gonna be a guide for me for when I drop my marble onto my creation because I'm gonna get the marble. Here it is, the marble, the, the ball that can be completely chaotic <laughs> if you lose control of it. Shouldn't do because the paint's quite thick. So I'm just allowing that marble to basically follow the line of gold that I've laid down on the canvas. And then once it's gone all the way through, I'm then just gonna zigzag the marble back on itself through the whole piece before I drop it off the canvas and then look at the creation that we've made and look at the pattern that we've made before we stretch it out. I nearly lost it then, but I didn't. <laughs> I'm gonna place it down and I'm gonna show you a close up, not just of the marble, but of the lines that that marble's created. So if you have a look along your creation, if you do this, before you stretch out, just take a look at all the lines that you've created using that marble. All those intricate lines, the merging of some of those colors. So that's this part of the process. I'm going to remove the marble from the canvas and then I'm going to start stretching this out. But before I do, I'm just going to take my palette knife and I'm going to swipe in some of the areas of this piece. Now my swipe is Australian Floetrol mixed with Titanium White by Amsterdam. Three parts Australian Floetrol 
with one part Amsterdam. So I'm just going to swipe in some of these areas because I want to create a balance of lacing, lines and block colour. And when you do your swipe, don't forget, don't press too hard. Just allow that paint to connect with the paint that's already down and allow it to glide along the piece. So you'll see now I'm going to start stretching this out. I'm going to start moving the paint along the canvas to look at the composition and the overall creation. When you're tilting your canvas and stretching out your paint, don't forget to always move it back on itself to allow you to move that paint to other areas of the canvas that need covering. So this part of the process is very much about ensuring all that raw canvas underneath, because there's no base coat, is covered by the paint that we've puddled and layered on top. So I'm just slowly moving the paint across the canvas in various directions, walking it down to one end to allow it to cover the raw canvas that you can see. And then I'm going to do that again, the same end, the, the opposite end, sorry. I'm going to stretch out the paint to ensure all that white canvas that you can see is covered by the paint that we've puddled on top. Okay, so I lost almost all the lacing that I'd al already put on. So I'm going to add in some more lacing now. And I'm going to do that by using my mixture of Australian Floetrol with Titanium White by Amsterdam. And I'm literally just going to swipe across the piece in various areas. And I'm not going to move this too much. I'm going to let the combination of the Floetrol and the paint do its magic. I am going to tilt it slightly just to get a little bit of movement, but this piece was really about creating those lines using the marble, having the block colour from the puddles, the liquid puddles that we had poured and the lacing that we've just added now using that technique. I'm much happier now with how this looks. So let me show you a close up of the wet version. Let me show you the colors that have been fused with each other, some of the lines that have been created and the effects of that lacing throughout this piece. I absolutely love this color palette. And let me take you in now for those details. I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna show you the dried version.
So here we go, the dried version. It took a few days to dry, but here we go. It's all dry. It hasn't been varnished yet. I love those lines just there. See all of those lines together. That was created by moving the marble around the piece. And some of those colours you can see are different tones. So it's layered on top of other colours. And yeah, I really love how that looks. Combined with that lacing that you can now see on the right hand side. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with this. It's a colour palette that I've done a few pieces with. Um, so I'm just kind of demonstrating that you can use the same colour palette, but almost create totally different pieces so watch out for those that will also be on my channel so i'm going to leave you now with a close-up of the dried version this was a really good piece for me to do it was a, a, a longer thinner canvas all the sizes are in the description box below but i've really enjoyed combining those techniques to create this pattern on top the block color the lacing and the lines i really hope you've enjoyed it too and let me know if you do this yourself because i'd really love to see your outcome and to see the creation that you've made thank you so much for joining me i hope you have a great week i hope you're okay and i really do hope i get to see you again in the next video take care of yourselves and i'll see you soon bye